Hello, my name is Kiriath, and today we're revisiting an old topic on the channel, one that had quite an impact when we covered it the first time. By the way, there's a bit of uh, Darkest Dungeons gameplay in the background, largely because I've become addicted to the game, and I just want any excuse to play it, so background footage works really well. Anyway, we're going to talk about Paul Ryan and Brash Games again, because for some reason, the chap seems to be under the impression that if you just wait it out... Uh, whilst also making incredibly inflammatory, irresponsible, and downright unethical and immoral statements, um, eventually it'll all blow over. It'll all blow over, the people will forget, and you can carry on being an absolute prick as much as you like. Because no one, no one is going to remember in a few months' time. Surely, Brash Games was just a blip. He can just carry on doing whatever he wants to do. Now, if you're not familiar with Paul Ryan and Brash Games, and you're wondering why I'm calling someone that I've never met a prick, uh, well, I'll, I'll sum it up as simply as possible. Paul Ryan owns Brash Games, despite claiming repeatedly that he didn't own Brash Games when it was discovered that he was taking away writers' bylines. So he was offering people games, they would review them for Brash Games, he wouldn't pay them, they would do it for exposure, you know, that thing that you can absolutely buy food with, oh no, wait. And uh, once they'd written the article, if they left Brash Games for any reason, then he would take their name off that article. So having claimed that although they're not getting paid, they're getting exposure, they were then unable to get any exposure because they couldn't use Brash Games as an example of previous work because their name wasn't attached to the articles they had written. Now, in the industry, this is largely known as a dick move in the extreme. And it didn't really help that when I looked into this, um, I, I just thought, I feel like there's got to be something more to this. Maybe there's a reason for it. Maybe, maybe we're missing something. But what I found was that not only was Paul Ryan taking away other people's work, having not paid them for it in the first place, but he was also littering his website with just gambling links. So these were links that were paid for by gambling websites to link to their website, and he was not disclosing that these were paid for links. They were being treated as normal articles. Now, if you want to do that kind of thing, you're absolutely allowed to. The problem was not the fact that he was doing it. The problem was the fact that he was doing it without disclosing the fact that he was being paid for it, whilst claiming that Brash Games didn't make a profit and that he was funding the website entirely out of his own pocket. He claimed he wanted an ad-free experience, and so there was no such thing as adverts on Brash Games, even whilst he was being paid to spam gambling links all over his website. Following this, he lashed out at the writers who called him out on just the disgusting behaviour that he was uh, exhibiting, and in the case of one or two, actually decided to disclose their medical information in a public statement which was edited repeatedly over the course of a week and went from bad to infinitely worse. Paul Ryan is a genuinely horrible human being who has apparently no respect for the people who are unfortunate or ignorant enough to write for him. He also has no regard for them as people whatsoever and he is quite happy to do anything that he can to destroy their reputation in an attempt to save face. Paul Ryan is a fucking prick. And, for a while, it kind of looked like, whilst Brash Games had had its time in the sun, he had been slammed repeatedly on every every side by every person imaginable, we kind of thought that perhaps, perhaps the time would come, and that Brash Games was going to be buried. Indeed, for a moment, it looked like it was going to be buried, because the website lapsed, the domain name lapsed, and it looked like it was up for sale. In fact, following this, Paul Ryan attempted to sell Brash Games, but, for some reason, decided not to. He was even offered money for it, but he turned it down. Since then, Brash Games has continued to function, unfortunately, um, but it would appear that Paul Ryan has decided that now, now is the time to try and dissociate from Brash Games, to move on to fresh, greener pastures that aren't tinted with uh, well, the horrible behaviour that he that he exhibited whilst he was on the receiving end of some very justifiable backlash. But, surely, surely he must know <laughs> that uh, no one who was affected by his bullshit was going to let this slide. 
Which is why this video is being made right now. Because Brash Games, it would appear, is moving. Brash Games, whilst it is still active, there seems to be a little bit of uh, just a little bit of a little bit of movement on the Brash Games front. Indeed, as you can see right here, we've got some nice, uh, got quite a few reviews went up today and yesterday. Oh dear. I mean, these people who are writing for him, I genuinely feel sorry for them because either they don't know uh, what kind of person Paul Ryan is, they don't know who it is they're working for, or they don't care, which kind of leads me to believe that they're being taken advantage of. Um, but as you can see, Brash Games still exists right down to a undisclosed advertising link there, and there, and there's one there, and there's one right there too. Oh, and that also. I mean, saying our friends doesn't disclose that you were paid to put those links on your website, Paul. As someone who apparently is the editor of this website, you should probably look into this a bit more, shouldn't you? Anyway, this is Brash Games, as you can see, still going, sadly. But now, we seem to have some sort of attempt to shift away from Brash Games in the form of this. Gamescan.co.uk Don't go to these websites, by the way. The whole reason they're being shown on the screen is so that you don't have to go to them. Don't give this arsehole the traffic. That's what he wants. It would appear the bonus stage. Or is it Gamescan? Or is it Brash Games? Well, I suppose we'll just have to try and find out. It's currently still under construction. As you can see, there's a, there's a nice bit of fashion week there. Um, it's obviously a... Obviously a... Uh, WordPress theme, which is absolutely fine, that's what my website is, but uh, I tried to, you know, make it so that I didn't have things like Gadget World and Best Smartphones and Holiday Recipes and Fashion Week all over my website, you know, just because I thought it looked horrendously unprofessional if you didn't actually try and customise the goddamn theme. In fact, that is the theme right there if you wanted it, Newsmag. Nice. <laughs> and uh, also the social media stuff is hilariously broken, because if we click that, where does that take us? Oh, it takes us to Invato, which is the place where you buy this theme from. So, as you can see, Paul Ryan is attempting to shift away from Brash Games. And it is definitely Paul Ryan, and it is definitely Brash Games, because under popular video, which that's obviously not a video, um, that says Brash Games. Just going to point that out right now. Um... That says Brash Games, and it says Brash Games because it's still fucking Brash Games. This is nothing more than an attempt to abandon a name which has now been shit on from a great height by every person even remotely involved with it. And, um, unfortunately, that's not going to work, Paul. That's not going to work because, funnily enough, when you fuck over as many people as you fucked over, people don't tend to forget it. Which, you know, I think is understandable. It's also worth noting that for bonus stage... In fact, I'm just going to have a quick navigate around whilst we talk. I have the latest blog post from Brash Games. Fancy that. And uh, that's Rohan. He's a, he's a prolific poster on um, on Brash Games. Quite, quite the involved author. I don't know who he is in terms of real names or anything. I just see his name all over Brash Games. Um something that Paul has also done with bonus stage slash game scan, whatever the fuck he's going to call this pile of garbage is that he has ported over reviews and articles from Brash Games um, and in fact if we go back a little bit on Brash Games I'm pretty sure that you can see the, uh, the Dear God review somewhere around here, although I'll be honest I'm not going to look too hard uh, just because I already know it's there, and um, <laughs> because I I already saw it when I was investigating Brash Games the first time, and uh, whatever, whatever. It, look, the the names are enough. Elliot Assange is all over it, and there's Elliot Gill there. That's uh, it's uh, Brash Games, Brash Games, Brash Games. Elliot Assange. There you go. Um, so one of the things that Paul Ryan has done in shifting all of his content over from Brash Games is he has shifted over reviews written by people who left Brash Games and the big catalyst for being discovered was the fact that he'd removed bylines, that he'd removed credit for writers. So what's he done with this website? 
Well, all of the bylines that he restored on Brash Games, having been called out for it repeatedly, he is now removed on bonus stage slash game scan. I've seen a couple of writers on Twitter who I now follow from Brash Games um, who have said that their reviews have appeared on this website no longer attributed to them. So he's doing it all over again. It has begun once more and for some reason he thinks he can get away with it and he thinks that people won't be bothered and he won't care but the problem is that people do and they can be bothered as evidenced by the fact that I'm making this video now. So, if you see anything relating to game scan or bonus stage or whatever the hell this ends up being called in the end, avoid it. If you see any sort of writing job being publicised for it, call it out. If you know of anyone who is looking to get into writing reviews and they mention this in any way, shape or form, point them towards all of the various videos and articles covering what Paul Ryan did and who Paul Ryan is and tell them to keep their distance. Because this guy, Paul Ryan, he's an arsehole, he is a thief, and he has no respect for the people who work for him, which is extra bad considering he doesn't pay them in the first place. Fuck Paul Ryan, fuck Brash Games, fuck Gamescan, and fuck Bonus Stage. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time. Toodaloo.